Rose? Is that you? You are... I've been long... I've never spoken... Rose, Rose. Such a pleasure to have you at my side, Rose. Yes, Rose, right there. You were always very clever, child. Put the others there as well. Rose, you've grown up to be quite strong. That's the last of them. Come join me, Rose. It's been ages since we had a chat. Rose, you're such a help. Let us reminisce, shall we? A tale of how I courted your mother. Why not? You never tire of that one. Well, that first day, I brought the cows in from the field. There was it. I fancied her. She fancied me. And then? What? Oh, uh, the Lord wandered in and caught us making merry. He fell into it. Your mother had a quick wit. Why, master, she said, this boy can fetch you more milk than you'd ever have. Well, the Lord liked his milk, so says he. We threw in our smocks and ran for the cow pen. Milked the cows in a frenzy and carried back the Lord, spooned off some cream to taste. Satisfied, in a thrice, master, your mother said, and we ran outside. I must... Yes? Oh. <clears throat> well, the cows are spent. Your mother bade me... We'll bring him these again, and call them new. Again he was pleased. Again he asked for more. And again we circled around. So he gave us his blessing. We ran for the stables, stole a horse, and never looked back. Not long after you were born, the pinkest little babe of... That reminds me! Your mother's ring! I... I do not know what to say. You should keep it to remember, mother. Such a sweet girl. I'll bequeath it to you when the time comes. I must go, father. Take care. Such a delight to see you, Rose. Come back soon. <laughs> <laughs> 